Welcome to another Nonsense Wars production. Today I'm taking a second look at a 10x10 stepper. A viewer in the comments of the original video requested instructions for the module, but I did not want to make them for the 4.5 volt variant as most people most likely would not build or run such a configuration. Thus, I actually made instructions for a power functions revision, though you can find a studio file for the original as well. See the video description. I intentionally left a lot of space under the first version with an eye toward alternative power, but I still had some trouble building a drivetrain with an M motor. In a 10 stud long module, the 4 stud length of the crank mechanism combined with the 6 stud length of the M motor means I have no room for a second gear stage since a single 1 to 5 is really too fast. I ended up solving the issue by rotating the motor, but it took a couple tries to get there. The final drivetrain has a 1 to 25 net reduction, which may be a little slow, but you can easily increase or decrease it thanks to the three gear stages. The motor only connects with studs, but the module should not stress it much, and I would not expect it to come off. Other than the drivetrain, the module does not change much from the original, though I did add these little ears to the exit to prevent balls from rolling over the edges. But wait, there's more! I thought a video about a single 10x10 revision would be boring, so I made another one. I'd been looking into building some shared power modules, and it seemed like the 10x10 would be a good place to start. The point of shared power is to have one motor drive multiple, usually pretty simple, modules that can connect in an arbitrary order. Usually, shared power systems have a dedicated starter module with the motor, but I felt ambitious and wanted each module to have accommodation to be either a starter or a follower. Now, I thought it logical to have the shared power shaft run down the center of modules with a 1 to 5 gearing, which is a good speed for single steps. As I said before, the 10x10 needs to run a little slower, making the shared drive mechanism even more complicated. I can't crank the step from the main shaft, but I still want to raise it at the center, and I had to build a fancy system of gears and levers in order to do that. I used some tricks I learned from other modules. The first crank is geared down 1 to 3, but it drives a crank connected to a countershaft. The countershaft operates at 1 to 1 and drives the longer main rocker, amplifying the motion of the first crank while also reversing the direction such that everything still fits within the 10x10 space. When configured as a starter module, it can also accept at least two different motors, the M and the 47154. Anyway, this video is mostly a preview I will hopefully do more videos on shared power as I figure out the details of my implementation and build or convert more modules. On that note, this is the end of the video, so have a nice day.